breakfast time. So I'm going to make me some noodles for breakfast. Chicken today. Or maybe beef. Let's see. I have more beef than chicken, so I'll have beef today. I like beef noodles. They're tasty, but I don't eat them that often because chicken is my preferred flavor. Now, let's see. I got my bowl. I think that's some really gross stuff in the bowl. I don't know what's in the bowl, but um, that's not part of my breakfast. Let's walk away with my food. I'll show you how I make the best noodles ever. Well, they're sort of the best noodles ever. I do not have my usual bologna edition or spam edition because I was stupid and ate the last of the spam yesterday. So here we go. First, you break the noodles up. You don't technically have to do this, but I always do because it makes cooking them a little bit easier. Next, you pour them into the bowl. Kind of obvious, but I'm adding this step just because well, I can. Now, there are two ways you can go about this. You can either pour water in it and stick it in the microwave, or if you happen to have a water machine with hot water, like we do, I usually stick the hot water from the water machine right here. So we're going to do that next. And while I'm pouring the hot water into the bowl, please enjoy some lovely Captain Fuzzy Nuts. Each hot water button is different for each machine. This one took some getting used to as a, compared to our other two hot water machines. Now that we have the hot water in the bowl, <coughs> it's time to <coughs> yum yum. It's time to add the powder. And look, my little sous chef is watching everything to make sure nobody tries to steal my noodles. Now we just add the powder. It doesn't look too appetizing right this second, but trust me, once you mix it in, it'll be delicious. Now, I usually like my noodles slightly crunchy, which to most people means slightly undercooked. 
Eat it that way at your own risk. Puzzle Skunk takes no responsibility for people getting sick because they like their noodles just as crunchy as I do. Although I have seen people actually eat raw, completely raw, uncooked bags of noodles as a snack. But I take no responsibility if you choose to eat it the exact same way I'm doing here and you get sick. However, mine's probably going to soften up because I'm actually putting more stuff in it. brand of noodles I prefer? Top ramen. I'm not super particular about my ramen noodles. The Moduchan is good too, but top ramen's also good. Whichever one happens to be the cheapest is fine by me. I just will not eat the cup of noodles because they usually have the vegetables inside. And that's a whole nother video. And I will get to that because I'm going to talk about why those noodles are some of the worst noodles you can buy. I mean, in an emergency, and that's the only choice, sure, but you'll find out why that's so disgusting to me. Alright, next. Next thing you're going to want to grab is some butter. Eee, butter. Salted or unsalted, it doesn't matter. Although, I will say that unsalted is slightly better for you, but I usually will go for salted when I try to buy butter because it just tastes better. So, here we go. Grab your butter. You grab your microwave safe dish. It's the smallest one you can find. In my case, it's this one. And then you're going to find you a knife. And you're going to cut your butter. And my sous chef has just left, so somebody might steal my noodles. Which is okay. <laughs> Excuse the extra virgin olive oil. Uh, I don't have my tripod on me at the moment. And if I did, you wouldn't be able to see too much with it anyway at the moment because... The way that tripod works, it's also a ring light, so you'd be mostly getting the light. And I would hate to have my viewers subjected to that. Alright, so I put four little slices of butter. Now we're going to stick it in the microwave. Oh. And also, <laughs> you all should try not to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Puzzled skunk is a butterfingers. <laughs> so we stick it in the microwave, like that. Now you can do any setting you want, but I'm going with 30 seconds. Because it's probably going to melt by then, and if it doesn't, I'll just add another 30 seconds. That way I'm not over melting the butter and causing a mess. Now you wrap your butter back up, if you don't have a butter dish. We're not using one right now. I'm going to have to get the rest of the Puzzle Skunk family uh, another butter dish. The best place to get one of those is the Dollar Tree. But they're only a buck, and to be honest, you don't need a fancy one. Now let's check on our butter. Let's see here. Should be melted. Oh, yay. Just perfect. Now we're going to take the butter that we've melted. Like this. Ah, we're going to pour it all in our noodles. I forget who taught me this trick, but whomever it was that did teach me this trick, thank you, because the butter is delicious. Now, let's see if we have some Parmesan cheese. We have other cheese, which I'm also going to add. And also, if you wanted to, you could add eggs, but... We don't have a whole bunch of eggs in the fridge today, so I'm not going to add any eggs. So, let's see if we can find the Parmesan cheese. Ah, there it is. Now, let's see. Parmesan cheese. It's not the usual brand, but we don't care. Uh, we're not, Puzzle Skunk is not super picky when it comes to Parmesan cheese, just so long as it's real cheese. I don't do cheese process or cheese knockoff because that stuff no unless it's an emergency 
Puzzle to Kunk does not mess with things that fail Vita because, no, it's just plain gross. Same thing with American cheese. American cheese is emergency cheese, not true cheese. At least to me. Uh, <laughs> most of Puzzle to Kunk's opinions may be different from your own and or maybe potentially an unpopular opinion. <laughs> now we're going to add my other favorite thing. Hot sauce. Boop, 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 boop. So you add that and the hot sauce. And since I don't, I'm not 100% sure of that particular brand of sprinkle cheese, as we call it in this house, I'm going to grab a little bit of the other cheese. Na -na -na. Which this particular brand is really delicious. And we bought it at our local Lidl. If you don't shop at Lidl, you should, because there's a lot of good things that you can buy there. So first, we're going to take, open the cheese. <laughs> open the cheese. Do -do -do -do. Open the cheese, just like we do. And now you're going to take a pinch. It can be a big pinch, small pinch. I'm going for a big handful pinch because it's easier easier for me and also because I like my stuff extra cheesy. And now you sprinkle it. And then finally, dun -dun, that's what it looks like. Now, it looks a little bit better when you do it with the chicken flavored ramen, but I have more beef than chicken and I'm trying to uh, eat up my beef. I like the beef ramen, but chicken is just slightly better tasting to me. There are other things you can do to your ramen as well. If you like hot dogs, like I do, but I don't have any right now, you can chop them up and put them in. Or if you like bologna like I do, you can chop them up and put them in. But the way I've been eating my bologna with them is I make use the bologna like a burrito and put the noodles inside the bologna burrito. So basically it's a, a noodle burrito thing. It actually comes out real good as a burrito or use it like a taco, eat it like a taco with the bologna being the taco shell and the noodles being the inside. Super tasty. Okay, now let's see. What am I going to have to drink this morning? We've got lots of options. We've got tea. We've got Kool-Aid. We've got milk, apple juice. We technically have soda, but I'm not having any, any for breakfast because I am going to be slightly responsible. I have some Gatorade, but I use my Gatorade for lunch at work because it's super delicious. And also, one pack of Gatorade right here. This whole bottle will actually fit. Hold on, my sous chef has come back. Hello, sous chef. Good boy. Will fit my lunchbox, which I'm actually going to do a review of my lunchbox at some point because it's one of my favorite things that I bought on Amazon. Oh, and this needs to actually get cleaned out, too. I forgot that. That's all good. So that one bottle of Gatorade y'all saw can fit this little thermos, which is technically a kid's thermos, but it's actually better for me to buy kids' lunch boxes and um, kids' plates and utensil type things for eating because it means I won't overeat. I won't buy kids portions of food because I think that's just a little bit no because you don't get enough when you do that even for a kid but that's just my opinion um but I always get the that size lunch box because then I can't overpack my lunch box I got my lunch box on eBay I'm sure y'all could find some other ones somewhere um I actually put tape over mine there's other tricks you can do to protect your lunch box if you buy the old thermos Lunchbox that still has the thermos and some of the, the sticker is peeling off. I just went for the um, tape approach because it's easy, it was quick, and I could do it during my... I had some extra tape lying around so I could do it during my lunch break. Also, do not 
And I learned this the hard way. Do not stick your thermos in the the dishwasher, the old ones, because he <laughs> Papa Puzzle Skunk stuck it in the dishwasher once, and now most of the images started to fade off of it. So it's kind of not nice. Look, my sous chef is back. Hello, sous chef. Hello, Captain Fuzzy Nuts. Hello, baby. There he goes. <laughs> so now that we have our noodles, we're going to set it on the table. Oh, another trick that I use, but I'm not using it today just because I'm showing you all how to make the noodles, is my little teapot. I'll stick the hot water in the teapot, bring the noodles uncooked and the powder to the table, and then put the noodles in the bowl, uh, the powder in the bowl, and then add the hot water that way. Which, that way is also an easy way to do it. If you have a teapot, you should do that. I bought my teapot at Pop Shelf for four bucks. Um, if you do not know what Pop Shelf is, it's basically Dollar General's answer to Five Below, but it's actually a little bit better than Five Below. Because, yeah, they don't have the same stuff as Five Below, but they do have other options and better options. They have a really good craft section. Uh, they had a teapot, because I've always wanted to get a teapot. I don't drink a lot of tea. When I say I don't drink a lot of tea, that's not to say I don't drink tea. I prefer southern style sweet tea like you get at McDonald's. <laughs> or just sweet tea in general. So I usually use mine for hot water for my noodles. I use it when I make hot chocolate because, well, yes, Puzzle Skunk is very aware that they have hot chocolate teapot type things. But I don't want one of those because I don't drink enough hot chocolate for that. Uh, I am also uh, use it for my things like Kool-Aid. Because I can, and because it makes me feel fancy, and I like feeling fancy for five minutes. It's also why Puzzle Skunk occasionally puts on uh, her little tiara that I actually happen, <laughs> that I own, that makes me especially happy. Um, sometimes when I need a pick-me-up, I'll just put it on and say, I'm a fabulous princess, and there goes the day. It's like an affirmation. It's actually good for you. If you have a tiara, you should totally do that. It might make you feel better. It'll make you feel fierce. <laughs> so, we're going to actually have some Kool-Aid. Because nobody else in the house seems to be drinking the Kool-Aid at the moment. And it's probably best that I drink it up. So that Mama Puzzle Skunk can't drink the rest of it. Uh, specifically so that it'll be better for her. And also because I really want some Kool-Aid now. Because I've been talking about Kool-Aid the whole time. So we're going to do it the way I do it with the teapot. Because I can. And also to show you how I usually do the teapot. So let's check. Okay, it's got the stuff. And now we're going to pour it into my teapot. If I can do this one-handed. Let's see. Yay! And there's just enough for... I think... Let's... The there, we got the rest of it. It's all in the teapot now. We're going to stick this in the sink so Puzzle Skunk can wash that later. No, those aren't my strawberries. I don't eat strawberries. That's Grandmama Puzzle Skunk's stuff. I don't touch that gunk. I think strawberries are kind of gross. All right, we put the lid. Put it on the thing carefully because if that is red. If it stains the carpet, we're screwed. <laughs> So, the next step is to put it on the table, and I'm going to set you guys on the table for a minute. So, enjoy looking at some very lovely fake fruit and a bunch of real bananas. Oh, if I can get it to do right. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, well, no bananas. There you go. Apples. So we're going to carefully bring it to the table. Oops. That's my water cup. Because not only do I have the, the Kool-Aid that could stay me, but I also happen to have the noodles, which could also be those are probably. Now, let's go grab my cup. I could use my same water cup, but I'm going to use a different one for this application, so that I don't get stuff everywhere, and also because I can. 
And I'm going to clean it afterwards, obviously. So let's see. Let's get my favorite, one of my favorite cups. Not that one specifically. We'll grab the other one because I have not personally used my other Precious Moments cup in quite a while. This one says, Rejoice, Peace on Earth. And this one says, Isn't He Wonderful? And it's got the little angels and baby Jesus and their little loops. I'm actually going to do a review of my Precious Moments collection and tell the story behind how I got some of these particular pieces and why. Um, but that's another video and that'll probably be uh, out later today, I think. I haven't decided yet. So we're going to take my beautiful little cup. And now we're going to sit down to this lovely breakfast I've made. Now normally when I want to eat my breakfast, usually I will turn on my, a show. Usually Bizarre Foods Delicious Destinations or Bizarre Foods or Carnival Eats if there's any new Carnival Eats or any of that stuff. Y'all aren't going to get to see that part for obvious reasons. But you will get to see me eat a piece of my noodles before I actually turn all of that on. So let's see how it came out. Because it probably came out softer than Puzzle Skunk normally likes, just because of the, uh, just because of the fact that it's been sitting while I was doing my other things. So let's see. Here we go. Mmm, delicious. Mm. So, that's what Puzzle Skunk sometimes eats for breakfast. Other times I might eat leftovers, sometimes I might eat eggs, but noodles are actually my favorite thing to eat for breakfast. I used to, I remember I used to sit in front of the TV on Saturday mornings and instead of a bowl of cereal, I'd eat a bowl of noodles. Actually, there's a reason I like noodles, and I'll probably go into that in a separate video this afternoon as well, if anyone's interested. Because there's a whole story behind why Puzzle Skunk eats the things that Puzzle Skunk does. So, prepare for the adventure of a lifetime. And prepare for some oddities and prepare to have your socks blown clear off. Or to have some questions answered. And, in the comments below, I want you to leave questions for me and Iron Zebra to answer. So when me and Iron Zebra get together for the first time since his summer break, Officially, we can answer some of those questions. But, be warned, Puzzle Skunk and Iron Zebra cannot answer any questions that involve personal things such as location, actual name, or anything involving super personal details. All of the questions are welcome, though, such as favorite show, favorite color, uh, stuff about our autism, things like that. Just no age, well, age is acceptable, too. <laughs> but no things like real name or location. Questions like that are off limits. Thank you and have a wonderful, very magical day. Bye.